Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that has sparked quite a bit of debate and curiosity in the financial community. The possibility of needing to travel to realize your Iraqi dinar, IQD, profits. This discussion stems from a notion that has circulated recently, and it's important we break it down and understand all the implications. First, let's talk about the core of this idea. There have been whispers that Iraq might consider printing new currency. Now, you might wonder, why would Iraq do this? The reasons could vary, from efforts to stabilize their economy, reduce inflation, or transition to a more robust financial system. But for holders of the current IQD, this scenario could mean significant changes. If Iraq does indeed print new money, the existing notes in circulation might become obsolete. This brings us to a crucial question. What happens to those of us holding the current IQD notes? Drawing parallels to Zimbabwe's situation, they issued new currency and allowed people a short window to exchange their old notes for the new ones. This exchange was not limited to citizens alone anyone holding the old Zimbabwean dollars could swap them for the new currency within a specified time frame, usually a couple of weeks. Imagine if Iraq adopted a similar approach. Holders of the current IQD might be required to exchange their old notes for new ones. However, this process could be logistically challenging, especially for those residing outside Iraq. If such an exchange were to happen, it's plausible that it might require physical presence in Iraq, much like what was witnessed in Zimbabwe. This brings us to the necessity of travel. If the exchange of old IQD for new currency requires physical presence in Iraq, then holders of the IQD might need to plan a trip to Iraq. This idea might sound daunting, but it is a reality we must be prepared for. The key is to stay informed and ready to act swiftly should such a scenario unfold. For many, traveling to Iraq might seem like a considerable expense and logistical challenge. However, we must look at this from a strategic standpoint. The potential profits from exchanging your IQD might far outweigh the costs associated with travel. It's crucial to weigh the risks and rewards, and prepare accordingly. Moreover, staying connected with reliable news sources and financial advisors who are well versed in the dynamics of the Iraqi economy can provide invaluable guidance. These professionals can offer timely updates and strategic advice on how to navigate such changes effectively. Another aspect to consider is the legal and regulatory environment. Before making any travel plans, it's essential to understand the legal implications of carrying large sums of currency across borders. Each country has its own regulations regarding currency declaration, and violating these could result in legal troubles. So, what can you do to prepare? First, Keep your ear to the ground and stay updated on any official announcements from the Iraqi government regarding currency changes. Second, consider consulting with a financial advisor who specializes in foreign currencies. They can provide insights on the best course of action based on the latest developments. Third, if travel becomes necessary, plan ahead. Ensure that your travel documents are in order and familiarize yourself with Iraq's visa requirements and safety guidelines. In conclusion, while the idea of needing to travel to Iraq to realize your IQD profits might seem challenging, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. The key is to stay informed, be prepared, and approach the situation strategically. By doing so, you can navigate this potential scenario with confidence and make the most of your IQD investments. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos on financial trends and investment strategies.